Hey, hello guys, welcome to Learn Eternity, a platform to learn anything, anytime. In this tutorial, we are going to learn two new topics in the Bootstrap. Uh, the first one is a breadcrumb and the second one is a pagination. So, we will start with the breadcrumb first. So, what do you mean by breadcrumb? The breadcrumb is actually uh, used to indicate the current page location within the navigation hierarchy. So, if you have uh, lots of pages available and you are inside some page, suppose you have a home page, you have a website development page and in that website development page we have a HTML page. So, the hierarchy will be home dash web development dash html so your current page is now html okay so in order to represent this uh, hierarchical page way you have a breadcrumb in bootstrap so let me give an example with the image so this is an example so as you can see we have a home we have a home page that is a current page then we have a home and then web designing as a current page then we have a home inside that book web design and inside that we have a bootstrap as the current page so in order to display these hierarchy of the page we use the breadcrumb okay so how to create a breadcrumb in bootstrap is a simple so i have created this a file with the bootstrap css bootstrap javascript and the jquery involved in that i have created the container with a call md of 8 and offset of 2 okay so just uh, go ahead and inside this container i am going to create one breadcrumb so in order to create a breadcrumb uh, you have to work with the unordered list so you must already familiar with the unordered list uh, it is a simple topic in html so you have to create a ally tag multiple ally tag in order to work with the an ordered list if you have a multiple ally tag so i'm just creating the first tag as home the second tag as web development okay third tag as bootstrap and fourth tag as uh, something called as a version 1.0 something okay uh, when you are working with the bootstrap breadcrumb we have to assign a class of a bread breadcrumb to the ul and once you specify that class you have to specify the anchor tag to each element so i am just specifying the anchor href to hash Okay, and just closing this anchor tag so let me copy this once okay at the last we have we don't have to provide the anchor tag because it will be a, a current page so depending on your current page it will be get the design will get dynamically updated okay so i'm just providing the anchor tag for three of them just go ahead and go ahead and save that okay just go ahead and save that and refresh so as you can see we have this uh, list item provided just think that we have to include in this case is working with the ol tag instead of ul tag okay so i'm just changing this ol tag into ol tag okay once you do that you just have to specify this ally a class of active because this link is going to be active okay so once you do that just make sure that the spelling of this is correct okay let me save that and just go ahead and refresh so as you can see we have successfully successfully created the program uh, this is active class that's why we are we do not include any anchor tag to this so according to your requirement you can just specify the anchor tag for 
all these uh, elements inside the ally uh, um, another thing that we can use with this breadcrumb is a class of disabled i guess okay so if you specify the class of disable then um, this is not going to work with the ally tag i guess okay let me check one yeah it is not working with this okay so that was an experiment so that's it for the breadcrumb so let me explain you the second topic that we are going to work with is the pagination okay so in order to work with the pagination why we need a pagination is that suppose we have a 1000 record in table and we are retrieving that 1000 record inside our page so 1000 record will be display on a page uh, the, then the user have to scroll down uh, a long time and the fetching time required for the page for 1000 record will be huge so instead of that we can use a pagination in order to display 10 record at a time for on each page so that the time taken to retrieve that record will be minimized and also user don't have to scroll down so pagination is a right factor to deal with this so how the pagination look uh, so let me show you an example so this is in a pagination example we have a number of pages we have a next and previous button that can be linked with okay so in order to create the pagination we have to work with the ul and ally tag so i'm just creating the pagination over here so let me create a ul with the ally tag and just specify the ul tag as a class of pagination okay and in ally tag you have to specify the anchor tag with href and just specify the text that you want okay so let me copy this ally tag couple of time okay and change this text okay let me give hashtag to everyone okay so we have created the, created the pagination let me go ahead and just refresh the page so this is the pagination way if you wanted to create that uh, previous and next button then we can use something called as a, a helper class okay so i'm just creating a ally Okay, I'm just creating an ally with the href sorry inside uh, pagination okay I'm just creating an ally with the uh, anchor tag okay once you do that you have to specify the span tag and inside the span tag I just have to specify the specific class that is related to displaying a previous button. So I just have to rewrite ampersand L or A Q Q A. That's it. So this is uh, one kind of code that you can use L A Q U A U O that will provide you a previous button and when you use a uh, right hand side button and you have to specify this as r a q q a o okay so once you do that you just have to save that and just go ahead and refresh and check whether it is working okay so it is working okay so you have now a next and previous one suppose you have to specify any uh, tab as active then we can specify that as active just by removing this anchor tag so i'm just removing this anchor tag 
from the first and just specifying this class as act okay so just go ahead and refresh oh. I just mess up something let me save that okay so you have to specify the anchor type itself so let me check okay so you have to specify the anchor type itself with the active class of course yeah right so active class has been applied to this first one so it is not clickable okay. uh, if you want to disable any uh, any uh, portion of the click that is pagination then you have to use a uh, disabled class okay so once you do that just go ahead and refresh so you can see the sixth one pagination is now disabled it is not clickable okay uh, this is the pagination kind of thing we another have a concept called as a pager but before that we have to specify the we can uh, have a uh, three sizes in a pagination that is a uh, pagination lg so we just have to specify the pagination lg just go ahead and save and refresh it will be a pagination large you have a pagination sm which is a small okay and we have also a pagination of a normal that is a default you don't have to specify any size and here we go okay uh, then we have a concept called as a pager so i'm just creating a pager so what do you mean by pager in pager we will be having a quick link such as a previous and next button so in order to create that we have to just create a ul okay and inside that we have to create a uh, li the first will be a previous button and the next one will be a next button okay next one you have to specify the anchor tank anchor tag for this okay and you have a class called pager that you have to specify in ul tag so once you do that just go ahead and refresh so as you can see we have that previous and next button available as a pager hmm? uh, you can also use uh, with the pager you can also use uh, alignment in order to align this uh, previous and next button you have to specify the class as previous and you have to specify the next as a class of next so once you save that and refresh you can get this alignment as per the content size okay uh, the last thing that we just wanted to tell you is that we can use a disable and enable functionality with this so i'm using a disable class with the previous button and let me save this and as you can see the previous button is now disabled okay so that's it about the breadcrumb and pagination uh, hope you like this video and understand everything uh, just comment below if you have any doubts and visit our website that is learnitermity.com in order to get more uh, detail regarding this video okay so thank you for watching so that's it for this tutorial hope you understand everything if you have any doubts feel free to comment below please like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned. Till then, see ya.